Hi everyone, this is Douglas at PCC, and in the next five minutes you'll learn how to customize chart notes and many of the sections of a patient's chart using the protocol configuration tools in PCC EHR. As you've watched other videos or used PCC EHR, you've learned that many of the chart sections, like the medical summary here, consist of components that appear on a scrolling ribbon. And that ribbon has handy anchor buttons that help you jump directly to the section you want to review. My practice has put exactly the items we want on a medical summary, which everyone can see when they open a chart. And we've also made custom chart notes. They'll have exactly the questions and sections and tools I need when I'm charting, in this case, a 10-year well visit. If a visit gets complex, sometimes I add a second protocol to the visit where I keep my depression questions or my consult fields. Your practice can make changes to these protocol ribbons with the protocol configuration tool, which I find in the tools menu. Inside the protocol configuration tool, I see there are five tools. First, the protocol builder. Here are all of my practices' customizable chart notes. Some practices have uh, special protocols for each well visit or for their sick visit chart notes. Uh, for chronic patient visits, maybe a special protocol for ADHD consults. I can double click on any of these chart notes to see each of the different components that make up this protocol. I can click over here to drag and move them around. I can double click to see special options for a particular component, uh, such as the exam portion of this visit. And inside each component, I'll see different options and settings. Should it have an anchor button? Uh, which items should appear on this component? And on chart notes for 10-year well exams. Naturally, I could add a whole new component to this chart note. PCC EHR has a huge selection of specialized components for orders, notes, and displaying information. And I can remove components as well. Most of these protocols are for visit chart notes, but you'll also see your practice's phone note protocol here too. You could add extra information to the phone note to help your practice take messages and triage phone calls. I've also got a protocol for chart notes for a single patient. This is a special needs patient. Anytime I see them, I want to see specific tools. They're completely different from a normal visit. So I made a custom protocol I add to my visits just for them. Okay, let's click back. We just looked at the protocol builder tool. Next, I want to briefly mention the medical summary builder and the demographics builder. These are very similar to what we just did, but instead of customizing a chart note protocol, we're configuring sections of the patient chart, uh, the medical summary or the demographic section. Uh, on the medical summary builder, I can see the chart-wide components that will appear when I open a chart with the settings and configuration that my practice needs. So we've talked about how you can add components and configure them on different types of ribbons in PCC EHR, but how do you invent a totally new component or make changes to the components, how they work across all of PCC EHR? That's in the Component Builder. This is a list of all the different pieces that might appear on a chart note or on a configurable section of the chart. Notice that some of these components are chart-wide, these are components that have the same content for the patient no matter what you're doing. Uh, a patient's care plans or their problem list or their confidential notes are the same. It's a single field for the patient's chart. The visit components, on the other hand, appear on chart notes, and they're fresh for each visit chart note. If I open up one of these components, I'll see the different options and configuration functions. Some of these components have a customizable list of possible questions, like this history of present illness component. If my practice decides they want a custom field or custom set of questions, for example, I can create a new component here. And after I did that, I'd go back to the protocol builder and add my new component to chart notes where I wanted it to appear. So components are building blocks that make chart notes or chart sections, and there are lots of specialized components that serve different workflows and parts of a visit. You can see the medical procedure orders or medical test orders. Obviously, orders are an important part of a chart note. Inside the component, I can configure all the medical procedure orders that my practice performs, or all the referrals, and so forth. All types of orders work in a similar way. And then, when I go to build a protocol, I can configure the component to show me the orders I need, available with a single click, for five-year well visits, or teenage visits, and so forth. That's just about it. One last thing to point out is the protocol map. 
Uh, different clinicians at your practice may want different protocols. Um, maybe Dr. Crusher's sick visit has a set of tools that Dr. Crusher likes to use, and Dr. McCoy has a different set of tools. Uh, they can each have their own sick protocol in the protocol builder. And the protocol map is where I'll specify which doctor would see each protocol for a given visit reason. Okay, you're now ready to go and play with the protocol configuration tools. Uh, we, we also have a 22 minute version of this video made a few years ago, but it's still accurate. And we've got step by step guides for common protocol configuration tasks, so you can see more examples. One last tip. Not everyone at your practice needs to be a protocol configuration whiz. Some pediatricians love tweaking their chart notes. Now, other offices just have one system administrator or office manager who learns this stuff and does it for the doctors. That's up to you. And your PCC client advocate will be happy to make changes for you too, but it's awesome when you or someone at your practice can quickly make the changes you need to optimize PCC EHR for your practice. Thanks for watching.